Hello everybody, welcome to the walkthrough for the Video with Subtitles project in Watts 2010 User Science and Testing. Um, this, this project is uh, centered around basically finding a video file that, uh, as far as we know, does not yet have subtitles, and uh, then uploading it to YouTube uh, using YouTube's auto-generated subtitles to give us a head start on writing subtitles and then um, and then to correct those and make those um, appropriate for what we would call um, you know assistive captions and uh, and then if if you want to downloading those subtitles again and re-uploading them to um, wherever you got the video in the first place um, so that uh, future people can can find subtitles for those videos those future people <laughs> so um, to do that, uh, we're going to uh, go through. That's basically all of the um, requirements there. Uh, when you're done, you're going to write up a little post on your usability journal covering sort of these uh, points, and you're going to embed the video, uh, which will be embedded and will have captions, so that we'll be able to view the captions. Um, we have some resources here to help out, and I've, I've pulled them up, but right down here in the project resources is archive.org is a good resource for getting videos, youtube.com, of course that's where we're going to host them, YouTube has uh, a support article about how to add subtitles and captions to a video, and then keepsubs.com actually downloads uh, your subtitle video from YouTube so that you can very easily um, you can very easily get to your uh, uh, subtitle file and then use them in any other application that you want to. So this is the Internet Archive. Um, it has the Wayback Machine where you can view websites as they used to be um, a long time ago. And then, of course, you can do uh, videos. Um, you can see here they have 2 million videos, 8 million books, 2.5 million audio files, and then just tons and tons of software, images, concerts, collections, all kinds of things. So um, so we're going to look in their video section, and I will warn you that um, on archive.org, there is occasionally content that is not appropriate for the classroom. So uh, please, you know, when you um, are picking what video to use here, keep in mind that this this is something that you're going to want to, um, you know, be able to show your classmates and everything. So think about what you, um, you know, what you really want to, uh, to, to work with. So there's all kinds of, of archives here. And, um, and there's a lot of collections and things like that. So um, here we can, uh, we can look at, at for example, um, just any kind of, of section and uh, and find in an, a video. Now we probably want to pick a video that's fairly short. So you know these are um, these are collections, and uh, we can see kind of um, you know all these all these different videos here. Some of these videos are going to be kind of kind of long, um, and we might not want to actually do the um, do the whole thing. So for example, this is ten minutes, ten and a half minutes. That's probably a little longer than we want to work with uh, here, but you can do some searches and, and, and look around. Um, you know, a five minute video is only gonna take you probably 15, 20 minutes to tops to, to work through. So it's it's not too bad if you have a five or 10 minute video, um, but, but try not to do like a feature length film or anything. I mean, unless you really wanna dig into it. So um, once you've picked your video, you're gonna be able to upload to, um, to YouTube. And obviously uh, YouTube is, um, is YouTube, you know. Um, when you upload a video to YouTube, you um, you just click the upload link and um, and then you'll drop your video there. It will upload and then it will go into a processing area. And let me show you a little bit of what that looks like. Um, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go into my channel and I'm gonna go into the video manager for the channel. So when you upload a video, it'll be on your channel. Um, and this is the video manager for the Watts videos. And you can see um, for example, if I go in here and I click edit, I can, you can see this interface that it gives me. And over here, this last tab is the subtitles and closed captioning tab. And when I click here, uh, I can select the video language and I can say whether or not that should be my default for new uploads, which I've actually set several times in the past, so maybe that doesn't work as well. And then I can see here the um, automatic English subtitles. I can click into them and actually view them, and you can see that they're, they're actually timed out, 
and you can see that that it does an okay job, but but you do get weird things here. So, for example, everyone, welcome to the value in excess excess ability project instead of evaluating accessibility. So, this is partly my fault for speaking so quickly. Um, also, uh, you know, uh, speech recognition is only um, so useful. You can use this interface uh, to to work through. Um, all of your uh, work through your video and you you can see the subtitles showing up there and you can uh, see how they are are uh, represented there and it, at least with the auto recognition it helps you break it into chunks that that work so you know timing out these chunks and breaking these things that's super useful so you can just click in and um, modify you know as as needed and then the other thing is that it's often actually pretty pretty good, and you can um, you can actually move through fairly quickly and and buff up the the speech recognition and and make it into very nice um, subtitles. So that's that's the bulk of the work that we're going to do. There is a page of instructions which we have linked, so feel free to uh, read through the instructions. There's also uh, YouTube has posted videos and stuff about how to do these things, so um, there's certainly a lot of resources that you can find. And then once you're finally done, you can click into any um, any YouTube video, and uh, you can put in any YouTube URL here, and and this website will allow you to download. Um, the subtitle file. Now the subtitle file is going to be in a specific format, a text format or an XML format um, and uh, .srt is very common. Um, sometimes they're SMIL files. Um, that's what um, that's what KeepSubs is going to give you and that's what you would use in another application to uh, to make your uh, subtitles come through. So if you were working with a different editor or um, or website or whatever. So so that's that's the entire project. Uh, once you're done, you're gonna um, like I said, write up a, a post on your usability uh, on your user science journal and um, and embed the video that you have added captions to. And let me know and link if you if you decide to re-upload. So you can actually upload. Now this is a collection here, so you can't upload to Prelinger archives. But um, a lot of the uh, open source and public domain videos, you can upload additional files, and um, and archive.org will let you attach, uh, you know, subtitles or or just upload standalone subtitles that you can just say these subtitles work with this video. So, um, so that's it. That's how we uh, do the video with subtitles project. Hope you enjoy yourselves. Um, it's really actually pretty fun to work with. Uh, you can actually do all kinds of clever things um, with subtitles and captions too. And you can certainly do multiple tracks for different languages or different purposes. So uh, keep all of that in mind and explore. All right. Have a good time. Have a great, uh, great time doing this project. Take care.